This video is uh, just a reminder of some of the ideas of volumes of solids in calculus. So the first set of pictures is about the problem where you have a solid whose base is this region, the region inside x squared plus y squared equals 4 squared on the xy plane, and whose cross sections taken perpendicular to the x-axis are squares. At each point we place a square. And these pictures will help you visualize the solid. To set up the integral, you have to compute as a function of x the uh, length of a side of the square, and then multiply that by dx, or you find the area of that square multiplied by dx, and you integrate from negative 4 to 4. In this problem, we have the function y equals 8 minus absolute value of x minus 2 minus absolute value of x minus 6. And this time, the cross sections perpendicular to the x-axis are equilateral triangles. Now the area of an equilateral triangle is square root of 3 over 4 times the length of a side squared. So you can use that to figure out the cross-sectional area of each slice. Again, multiply it by dx, and you integrate from 0 to Now we're going to review the idea of washers and shells. Here's a region that's sliced, and if you revolve the slice about the x-axis, you get a washer because it's a vertical slice. Here are the different washers made from the different slices in that region. Now let's go to a shell. If we revolve the same slice about the y-axis, we get a totally different shape. This is a cylindrical shell. And here are the different shells in the region. So remember the formula for computing the volume of a washer and the volume of a shell.